good afternoon welcome to raw online today's class is media stenum this is the basic class in the thorax so before going to the thoracic cavity uh, we should know the important contents present in the thoracic cavity so they are the lungs and the heart today we are going to study about the media stenum present within the thoracic cavity so the competency related to the media stenum are mention the boundaries and content of following media stenum they are superior media stenum anterior media stenum middle media stenum and posterior media stenum so what is media stenum the media stenum is defined as the region between the two pleural sac so in this diagram the green shaded area is the space between the two pleural sacs so media stenum is a latin word which means the middle septum it is a visceral compartment between the two lungs actually it is not a rigid compartment it occupies the central portion of the thoracic cavity in cadaver it appears as if it is a rigid compartment but actually it is not a rigid compartment it is a highly mobile septum because it contains primarily of hollow visceral structures which are bound together by the loose connective tissue so in this diagram you can see this is the lung which is covered by pleura and this space which is present between the or within the between the two pleural sac is the media stenum and this is a schematic diagram which shows the subdivision of the media stenum so let's go to the boundaries of the media stenum so media stenum is bounded anteriorly by a bone so this bone is the sternum which consists of manubrium sterne above and body of the sternum and in the lower part is the xiphi sternum posteriorly it is bounded by thoracic vertebral column there are around 12 thoracic vertebrae superiorly it is by the thoracic inlet so this part entry of the thorax this is the thoracic inlet and inferiorly it is bounded by diaphragm so this brown color line this line which is marking the diaphragm muscle so this media stenum is subdivided into two the superior media stenum and inferior media stenum and this inferior media stenum is again further subdivided into anterior middle and posterior media stenum let's see how it is subdivided so this is the sagittal section where you can see the sternum in the front so this is body of the sternum thoracic vertebra here the thoracic inlet and diaphragm so this media sternum this space the green space is subdivided by the imaginary plane so that imaginary plane it extends from the sterno manubrio sternal joint or this play area is called so this line extend from the sternal angle and posteriorly to the lower border of the fourth thoracic vertebra so this is the first one where the first rib articulates second third and fourth thoracic vertebra so this considered as a imaginary line so we are putting a horizontal imaginary line to subdivide the media stenum into superior media stenum and inferior media stenum so this is subdivided by an imaginary horizontal plane this plane is called transverse thoracic plane which extends from sternal angle to the lower border of t4 so the part which is lying above this imaginary line so the structure which lies above the imaginary line this area is the superior media stenum and the 
portion which lies below the imaginary line is the inferior mediastinum. So, this area, this area is the inferior mediastinum. So, this inferior mediastinum is again subdivided into anterior, middle and posterior mediastinum. So, this area which lies anterior to the pericardial sac is the anterior mediastinum. So, this is anterior area where the heart and the pericardium is located is the middle and the long posterior part which lies behind the pericardium of the heart is the posterior mediastinum. So, we have subdivided the mediastinum. Let us see the structures present within this mediastinum.